Hi, uh, I'd like to do a short video on delegates and protocols, okay? So this is just an introduction to the subject. We'll do it with a playground here, even though there's a, the playgrounds are a little buggy. Um, but I'm going to do it with this playground here. So I'm going to start in Xcode 8, and we'll be doing this with Swift 3. And I'll choose, you know, get started with the playground. So I'm going to save this playground here. I'll just call it uh, protocol example and I'm going to use um, the Mac platform though it'll work with the iOS one you know any one of these I'm going to just choose the Mac one right they're all actually all the same as far as the playground is concerned right and then I'll replace my other playground and then I think we're good so we'll open this up there and why don't we make the text like a little bit bigger too how about like that right Okay, so uh, so what is a delegate? So we're, we'll take this in two halves, right? So what is a delegate? Okay, Let, let's start with that. So um, in order to start with a delegate, we got to find out like why you would need a delegate, right? Before we can explain what it is, we got to have a problem to solve, right? So I'm going to start here with a class. Imagine you have a class called a dog, right? And your dog might have a name, which is a string, right? And uh, maybe, you know, when you initialize the dog, oops, uh, initialize the dog, you'll have to set the name. So what we'll do is we'll type in name here and we'll make it a string. And then we'll say self name equals name, right? So essentially, we're going to take this name here, which is a local variable, right? And assign it to this name here, which is self.name, which is our, our property variable, right? Okay, so then, you know, if you wanted to make a dog, you might say, you know, bar, how about uh, sparky equals dog, and then, uh, oh, wait, I got to have my name string here, and we'll say sparky. Okay, so there's my dog. Um, I create an instance of the dog, right? Okay, so we don't need a delegate here, you know, so what's what gives, right? Well, um, the, the, the reason we're going to need a delegate is when you have more than one class that has to work together. Okay, so as soon as you have two classes that need to collaborate and communicate between each other, this is where the delegate comes in. Okay, so let's make another class, right? I'm going to put a comment here. Just so you remember, this is dog, right? And let's make another class down here called an owner. Right, so let's call it a dog owner. How about that, right? Okay, and so we'll do the same thing we did earlier. We'll say class dog, wait, dog owner, and a dog owner has a property called um, a pet, right, which is type dog, okay? And when we initialize a dog owner with the init, what we'll do is we'll pass in a dog. Okay, so this is the owner's dog, right? And we'll say, you know, we'll do the same thing we did above. We'll say self.pet equals pet. Okay, so now what do we do, right? So now we got a, we got another class that can work with, 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 you know, with the first class, right? So what we'll do is we'll make a, a dog owner called Bob. And we'll say Bob is a new dog owner. And, you know, dog owners get initialized with a pet. And so we'll give Sparky to Bob. Okay, so we made a made Sparky. We pass Sparky in here. And there we go. Now we've got a class that has a dog, right? So that's cool. So what does this look like? Well, this is pretty simple, and it looks like nothing that you'd ever use, except if we think about it carefully, this is very similar to just about everything you do in iOS, right? So it's just like... A view controller that owns a table view. Think about that for a minute, right? The, you know, the pet is essentially your table view, right? Um, dog owner could be a view controller, and this could be, um, you know, a UI button, okay, or a text field, okay? It, dog owner could be a table view, and pet could be a UI table view cell, okay? So this is the same thing that happens all the time, just in super simple terms, okay? So we've got a class here, dog, 
And then we've got a class dog owner. So we still haven't gotten to the delegate yet. Let's, let's try and get there, right? Okay, so let's imagine that the dog has a function called rollover. You know, so you can talk to your dog and you can say, hey, rollover dog, and then the dog will do whatever it does, right? Maybe we'll just say in here, we'll say, you know, print um, name rolls over. Okay, and so now, you know, our 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 owner down here, our, our dog owner, can say, you know, um, Bob dot pet dot roll over, right? So we can tell the pet to roll over, and you know what, Sparky rolls over. So that's really great, right? Okay, so that's all well and good. Still don't need a delegate. Now think about this for a moment, right? Bob has a reference to his pet, like he knows who the pet is, and he can tell the pet to do anything that the pet can do. So any method or property of the pet, Bob has access to that. So, you know, um, so that's all good, right? Now the problem here though is, is the dog. So the dog, if we look at this carefully, there's no way for the dog to communicate with the owner. Okay, so just think about that, like how, would you know like what if our pet got hungry right like how would it tell dog like hey feed me right like let's imagine the owner has a method here called you know function like um, feed pet right and we'll just say print you know like um how about owner feeds and then we can say pet dot name Okay, so you can see here, oh, okay, if you could call the feed pet, you know, the owner again could feed the pet and, you know, would know the pet's name, right? But let's imagine the dog has to trigger this because we don't know when the dog is hungry. It has to tell us, okay? So how from here can we call on the feed pet method, right? This is the delegate, okay? So in order for that to happen, we need to have a reference for dog to... to um, you know, call this, call any property of its owner. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a variable here. We're going to say var delegate, and this could be any variable name. We kind of just use delegate for this because because the word delegate means someone that takes care of something for you, right? So um, so essentially we need someone that we can talk to and call on methods and do things that, that we can't do directly, right? So we'll say, uh, you know, delegate, um, and the delegate needs a type, okay? So what we'll do here is we'll just, we'll make it dog owner for now, but the type right here is going to be our protocol later on, okay? But for right now, we'll set this to um, to uh, to dog owner, right? So the delegate, you know, we either have to set it here when we initialize our class, because I'm going to get a ver an error otherwise. It's going to say, hey, you know, uh, return from the initializer without initializing all stored properties, right? Because we just added a new property and we didn't give it a value. You could give it a value here, but we don't know who the owner is yet because we won't have an owner until we actually create an instance of dog. So maybe what we'll do is we'll make this an optional. Okay, so it'll be nil unless we set a value for it, right? Okay, so uh, so now down here, when you know we initialize our, our dog owner, the dog owner could say like, hey, um, self dot pet dot delegate equals self right and it's perfectly okay for us to set self as the delegate because you know self is dog owner type and you know delegate is type dog owner right okay so that's great right so let's imagine you know every time you tell your dog to roll over you know your dog gets hungry because that's a lot of work so what we'll do is we'll say you know um, well, actually, let's, why don't we check? So, you know, we made we made that a an optional value. So, why don't we say delegate um, equals? We'll do if let delegate equals delegate, and this way we'll just check for nil, right? We're kind of checking to see if this is nil, and if it's not nil, then we can say delegate dot feed pet, right? So that works pretty good. So, you know, Sparky rolls over, and then he says like, "Hey, I'm really hungry," and the owner feeds Sparky give Sparky like a cookie or something, right? Or a biscuit or whatever, right? Okay. Um, so that works pretty good, right? So there's our delegate. So essentially the delegate allows communication 
two ways between a child object and its owner or its parent object. So the dog owner is a parent object and it owns a child object which is the pet or the dog and the dog is the child object and you know since the owner owns a reference to the child object it can talk to it directly right you know by saying you know self.pet right but the 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 pet or the dog does not have a reference to the parent right so the delegate is a reference to the parent and that's what we're setting up here right and then we can create sort of a two-way communication, right? So that's, that's what the delegate is all about. So what's the protocol, okay? So the protocol comes in when we need to just declare what type the delegate is, okay? And the protocols are a little more than this, but essentially here, the, the protocol lets us create a type that is more flexible than saying a specific type. And let's, let's do that right now. So imagine, we, you know, we've got a dog owner here, but let's say we expanded our, our application, right? to, um, let's call it a dog shelter, right? Okay, so imagine we have a class here called, you know, dog shelter, right? And the dog shelter might, you know, keep track of a dog for us. So wait, let me, I misspelled that. Let's fix that, right? Um, there we go, right? So dog shelter, and maybe the dog shelter has a pet. This could actually be an array, right? But why don't we just make it a, a regular variable to keep the example simple, right? So the dog shelter could have a dog as a property, right? And maybe the dog shelter, you know, needs to initialize itself. So we'll do it the same way we did with the owner. You know, maybe when you initialize it with a pet, which is a type dog. And then it says, okay, well, self.pet equals pet. And then it's going to also assign itself as the delegate, right? And here's where we're going to have a problem, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say self dot pet um, dot delegate equals self. And now we have kind of an error, right? Actually, I got another error here, but I'm gonna, I should be getting one more, right? Um, any moment now, but it'll tell me, it'll say, hey, you know what? You can't assign a dog shelter to the delegate here. Yeah, there we go, right? It says, hey, cannot assign value type dog shelter to type dog owner, right? That's because self is a dog shelter, but the delegate property is a dog owner. So they're two different types, right? Okay. So, I mean, you could see where we might want to assign a dog to any, you know, to any other class that might own a dog or keep track of dogs, right? And in the same way, like I said, that this mirrors um, how you work with view controllers and other classes. Imagine, you know, any view controller class that you might make might want to own a table view or a UI button like those or a UI text field like any of those elements need to be um, flexible and work with any class that you create, right? And so the same thing happens here. So if, if Apple created all their their software and they wrote all the framework for us and they used specific class names for the delegates for their classes that they create then we would have a problem right so this is what we're going to solve with the delegate i mean the protocol right so let's make um a dog protocol right so what we'll do is we'll say protocol um dog protocol Actually, it should really be like a dog owner protocol, right? So let's do dog owner protocol, right? So what's the protocol? Well, essentially the protocol, you know, it looks just like a class, right? You define it in the same way, okay? Um, the difference is that the protocol only describes the methods and properties that something should have. So it's kind of like a description for a type, but without being the type itself, Okay, so for example, um, if we look carefully at the dog class, um, all of the methods that the delegate will call on or that will call on through the delegate, right, um, we need to define those in the protocol and then we can use the protocol here as the type. Okay, so in this class, um, we only call the feed pet method. So when we define our protocol, what we're going to do is we're going to make a function here called feed pet, 
okay? And that's it. We don't include the curly braces, right? Because the protocol doesn't define what the function does. It just defines the signature of the function or the description of the function, okay? So we have feed pet. It takes no parameters and it returns nothing, okay? And that fits the description here. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to say um, delegate is type uh, dog owner of protocol. Okay, and so that works pretty good because dog owner delegate right here matches the type that we have. And this type right here has, you know, defines anything that has a feed pet method, right? So that's good. Okay. So now we have a problem here with dog owner, right? Because it's saying like, hey, you know what? Um, you are not type dog owner protocol, and we're not. We're a dog owner, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and put the colon, and then we're going to say dog owner protocol. Okay, so this, this way we can say, hey, you know, we're this type. That's our class name, but we're, we also conform to this type. Okay, so... What I'm doing is I'm saying like, hey, you know, I'm also, I fit this description. And that description says that I have a function called feed pet. And, you know, if I look down here at dog owner, you can see like I, I do have a function called feed pet. So I match that description and, um, and the compiler is happy and it checks my work, right? Okay. So the other thing now under dog shelter is you can see dog shelter um, doesn't fit the description, right? And it says like, hey, you know what? You're a dog shelter. You're not a dog owner protocol. So what we'll do is we'll put a colon here and we'll say dog shelters are or do follow the dog owner protocol. And then you'll see I have an error here and it's going to tell me that um, that I, I, I require the function, you know, feed pet, right? So we'll have to include that. Why don't we put that in here? We'll say function feed pet and then we can implement this however we want we can say you know print um, shelter feeds um, pet dot name okay and you know we could define this differently too so maybe the shelter feeds the dog differently than what you know than how the owner feeds it right um, and there you go. That's the that's the delegate and the protocol, like in a nutshell, like as short as I could make it. OK. Um, and there you go. I hope that's helpful. And uh, be sure to ask any questions. If you have any other questions on this, post them to the video or ask me in class.